Yo guys, what's going on? And in this video, I'm going to be showing you what I think is the best free aim trainer on Steam. It's called Aim Lab, and as of right now, it's in early access with about 40% of the game done. And it's already got around mm, 35 to 50 maps, but that is not including all of the community made maps. So I wouldn't really be worried about it not having enough content, basically. From the main menu there will be a tasks tab where you can play all the different tasks in the game that the game's already made for you. There's a playlist tab where you can get all your favourite tasks and put them in different playlists. And there's the workshop which is the community map area. And you can also put those community maps into playlists. Aimlab has most of the exercise training exercises that you would expect but also has some ones that I haven't really seen that much before which are kind of interesting and different like this one where you just like just purely reaction time I've seen that one before but the one I haven't seen before is a uh, like a sound reaction time where you have to shoot every time you hear uh, like gunshots or something really weird but this is another like different kind of type of reaction time practice that I've never really seen before which I guess is pretty cool kind of something else that is interesting that I've never really seen before is that you can choose between tons of different guns and this uh, last round you saw me play I had a pistol but the one before that I had a bow and I think each weapon kind of behaves a bit differently so you can choose your weapon depending on what game you play most or what game you're kind of practicing for like I don't know what game mainly uses a bow maybe I don't know if you play the Darwin project or something I want to have insane flicks in Skyrim but you can use anything and it gives you the freedom of choice in the settings menu it lets you tune it for the game that you actually want to practice for so if I select hyperscape it will make sure that a 7 on this game will translate into a 7 on hyperscape so it's exactly the same you can do it with like most like decently big games so if you play a game like a small game that isn't very big it might not appear on this list but if you play like a top game like Fortnite, Overwatch, Warzone they should probably be on this list my god I literally I've been looking through while I've been editing this video and I've even realized that there's even games like Minecraft in it like literally everything is in this list like, what? why do you play Minecraft why is there Minecraft in this list what the hell one thing that is pretty important though is you obviously can adjust things like your FOV which is cool but your X and Y sensitivity at the moment I don't know if it's a glitch or something but they have to be the same so if you play a game where you say your X is like lower than your Y or something or your Y is higher than your X or whatever it doesn't matter you can't have different settings which I know for some people that have it different could be pretty annoying so you'd have to change your settings to be able to practice with aim lab so that's the pretty could be a pretty bad thing for some people the only other thing that i think is worth mentioning that is in the settings is if you go into crosshair you can change the like thickness the spacing and everything about your crosshair and the style of it all that stuff so if you play a game like I think it's in Battlefield, it might even be in Hyperscape. Um, but if your game that you play allows you to change the settings about your crosshair, you can change your crosshair in Aim Lab to be exactly the same as your um, as your crosshair in whatever Battlefield or any whatever game, whatever game. So you can change your crosshair in. 
And there's also some kind of different types of levels like this one which actually allows you to kind of move around the map while you're playing it which is uh, obviously quite good because in most games you're actually moving while you're shooting people instead of you standing still or you and them stand still you, you all, everything's moving in a real game so this is kind of more realistic practice I guess and there's also other levels like um, same sort of thing but instead of being in like a bland grey box you're in this kind of like area like you could be in like an airfield or something and there's like buildings that you can enter and there's cover and there's bots and you have to take out all the bots which could be like better for like battle royale games also like with pretty much all aim trainers you can track your stats and replay it over and over again and try and like climb the leaderboard but the only difference with this one is that there's also like a ranking system it's like a pretty big ranking system it's like I, I don't know how many ranks but it's like six different divisions and within them there's like four or five other like subdivisions so if you you could if you really want to you could be grinding out the aim lab ranks and here are all of the ranks in order it goes from bronze silver gold platinum ruby emerald diamond master and grandmaster with four subdivisions within each one which is a lot of ranks that's pretty crazy to be honest i've never seen so many ranks since like clash of clans there's more ranks in this game than clash of clans there's a lot of ranks but yeah and by the way if you're wondering what the audio reaction time thing looks like this is what it looks like it's it's nothing to see really because you gotta hear it and i didn't record any audio for this clip so i'm just there's no point in me showing you this anymore so now there's one last thing that i think is worth me showing you and that is the workshop and this is for the community area it's got a lot of apex valorant warzone it's got some rainbow rainbow six stuff it's a lot of valorant stuff some csgo stuff there's a lot of different ones for the different games that you want to play but um, that's about it for aim lab not really much more to be said about it it's a pretty good aim trainer i think it is the best uh, free aim trainer on steam see i've since I've been recording, I've gone up to gold 3 now. If you look in the top left, about a few seconds ago, it's a pretty good aim trainer. I like it, I use it. I've recently started using it. And um, from what I've played of it, it's pretty good. So that's about it for this video. And uh, if you enjoyed it, maybe drop a like and I might see you in the next video.